All right, folks. Well, welcome back. Uh, this is Timber Ridge Outfitters for our uh, podcast today. We've got a couple of guests, um, Kimberly and Bubba Farrell. Um, they're, we're going to talk a little bit about how uh, we met, a little bit about what they do, uh, why it's so meaningful to them and to a lot of folks. Um, so let's we'll just get started on it. Um, like I said, Kimberly, Bubba, I, I don't know which one you want to start with, but let's let's just talk about, well, why are we here? What, what do we do? Um, I have a charity called Envelopes for Hope. That's right. And I remember you coming too. I forget which year you came. The first, three years second, ago. Three, three years, years ago. ago. Yep. And uh, you were a participant. Yep. And one thing that I remember is days after the shoot, or maybe even that night, I got on social media and you had given me a shout out and you were just so incredible. And I, <laughs> I didn't even know you. you know? <laughs> yep. And I was just like, Bubba, this guy's giving me a shout out in our, <laughs> and our, and our clay crush. And, um, yep. Well, that's and awesome. That, so I knew your name for sure. Man, I didn't yes. even re- I didn't even remember that, but I do remember it now <laughs> uh-huh. because that was we were doing it for armor insulation. There you go. That's yeah, right. that's right. That's right. So, so and uh, I guess our mutual friend Susan Gaskin is yes. the one that kind of hooked right. me up and said, "Hey, yep. you guys need to come shoot. These yep. this lady's got an awesome cause. You need to come, you know, check it out and know you love to shoot skeet because we shoot skeet or I say clays clays in this one, go. right? Um, but we shoot clays a lot. Uh, we do the the Lions Club." shoot as well but um tell us a little bit about how the whole deal got started Bubba you started shooting at the pines first or you did yeah so I started shooting at the pines uh, I don't know eight or nine maybe ten years ago and soon after I joined them uh, my wife was diagnosed with cancer and so I had to kind of quit the pines a little bit and uh met them and then well, during my wife's cancer treatments they she had a group called rumble against cancer come to visit her played a big impact on her life. And soon after she got done with that, she said, I want to do something special for a group called Rumble Against Cancer. So I went to the Pines and everything. I couldn't think of anything else. And I thought, well, maybe we can have a sporting clay shoot. So we did, and we took it to the board. And they said, sure, if you'd like to have one, you can do it. You know, hopefully it'd be a big success and we'll get it done. Well, we were hoping for, you know, 25, 30 shooters, our first shoot. We had 65, 70 shooters our wow. first shoot, and it was just unbelievable. That's awesome. And the support from Pines has just, just been fantastic. And then a couple of years, I think, after that's when Susan Gaskin got on board, and she's been on board, and then that's when she introduced you to me, and you came to the first shoot, and it's just been it's just been awesome ever since. For so, sure, for sure. Yeah. That's a dang sure. We love it every year. And now, obviously, we proceeded into Timber Ridge, and then teamed up with you guys and yeah, sponsored right. it last year and intend to do so again this year, um, which you. was amazing awesome. as, as well. Um, it's kind of a, you know, everybody benefits type thing. But, For sure. We, uh, I, I've heard your story a couple of yes. times, but of course I have to ask you to there you go. tell us All about right. it. I'll try to, you know, it's a long story. It's my journey. It's my yeah, life. Of course, right? And of course. Um, I just celebrated five years. Oh, congratulations. No That's of awesome. Disease. So it's been an amazing journey. From the day that I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed in 2017 um, with an aggressive type of breast cancer, and uh, it knocked us up off off our feet. I'm 45 sure. years old, you're not thinking of cancer. No. There's, you know, it's just not on your radar. And, um, but you just have to get get going and start your treatment. And I did. And it was shortly after that um, I had started chemo. I just side effects were kicking in. I just lost my hair and. Mm. We spent a Friday night shaving my head, and if you if his hat was off, you'd know he's did. bald. And, yeah. and I said, "Yep, now I can relate to being bald." Oh, <laughs> exactly right. Like you have to be humorous when you can mm-hmm. during this, right? For but, sure, for sure. Um, but it was about a month after I started treatment that I got a a huge blessing. I got a phone call one Sunday afternoon, and I don't know who took the call, but I was told to go outside on my patio, and I went out on my patio and I waited, and and I was sitting there, and it was a beautiful, clear, crisp day, and I started hearing this low rumble. And I, you know, your brain's thinking, well, what is that? And I thought, well, it sounds like a motorcycle. And the loud, the sounds got louder and louder. And I thought, well, that sounds like a lot of motorcycles. And about that time, I looked down, we have a very long driveway. I saw all these motorcycles just riding towards me. And I just, I couldn't process it. I didn't know what was going on. I thought, I know my one brother rides a motorcycle. But I really didn't know who else, you know. Anyway, they all came to a stop, took off their, you know, helmets, and it was, it was impressive because they were, it was cold, so they all had black leather chaps and jackets oh, yeah. and gloves and helmets, and they started taking off their helmets, and I 
thought, I, I don't know that person, I don't know that person, I don't know that person. There were six motorcycles. Last two people were on the last motorcycles, my brother and his wife. And, wow. um, and I felt a little relief in that moment, <laughs> thinking, oh, I, I know somebody. I'm not fixing to get robbed. <laughs> right. I thought, oh, my goodness. So I re remember running up to them and hugging them, but still kind of wondering what was going on. Well, come to find out, he knew some friends of theirs that had started an organization called Rumble Against Cancer. And they started it to reach out to cancer patients. Sure. And they had reached out to my brother asking, would you mind if we went and visited her? Oh, that's awesome. They rode all the way from Dallas on a Sunday afternoon God, no. just to visit me and spend time with me and my family. And basically, they just spent time sharing their stories about how, you know, some of the, the people in their lives had cancer, um, just lifting me up, you know, and uh, it was a good day. So That's spent awesome. a couple hours with us. And uh, right before they left, they handed me an envelope and I opened it. And inside that envelope was a very generous check. And I was kind of blown away. I thought, here's these strangers reaching out to me. Them just coming here was enough. And uh, but they also gave me a gift and they stood around and prayed for me. And and I always say they rumbled off. And um, <laughs> and I knew that something I knew something inside that that day changed sure. or shifted or I just felt something. I had never been touched by complete strangers before. You know, you expect yeah. your family and friends to be there and they were, but strangers, it's taken me years to figure out, you know, just to, I still draw on that day, you know, as um, strength and, yeah. and that's given me, God put in my heart to kind of follow in their footsteps. Do what you're doing now. And do it on my own. So yeah. um, quietly, um, since they gave me a very generous check, I, all they want to do is tell me is put a smile on your face, make, you know, do something that makes you happy. And I can never figure out what mm -hmm. to spend that money on. You know, you can buy something that makes you happy feel what, you know, for a, a day minutes, yeah. and then it's gone. So I don't know. I just thought about it, prayed about it. And God put in my heart one day and said, why don't you do what, you, you know, they did for you do that for others. So as I continued on with my treatments, I had five months of chemo on, you know, surgery and radiation. I was going to the doctors, you know, and MD <laughs> Anderson quite a bit. Wow. And when you sit in waiting rooms, it's, it's daunting. You know, you sit there, you're waiting for test results or it's not a pleasant place. You're always waiting to get treatment or uh, whatever, but yeah. um, test, whatever, test it's results fun. and it's nerve wracking to say the least. And everybody else sitting there is sitting there, you know, for the same reason, sure. you know, you go to a cancer hospital, they're all there for that. And I thought, well, I'm just going to start taking that money and put in envelopes and write a little note of encouragement and hand them out. And so the day before my own appointment, I would do that and it would give me something to look forward to other sure. than thinking about what was going to be going on with myself. Yeah. There was nothing better than handing it to a stranger, you know, someone else sitting there and just the look on their face, just that fact that I reached out to them. Um, they were overwhelmed. I, they, you know, they felt the way I felt, the way the Rumble Riders sure. made me feel. So um, I just kind of quietly kept doing that on my own. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. And then it blossomed into. It did. It took a while. Um, I had finished all our treatment, uh, my treatment in 2018, and we went on a fishing trip to Canada, and that's when he surprised me with this envelope with Kimberly's clay crush for cancer. And I thought, I, <laughs> okay, it looks great. It's, it's a beautiful flyer. I said, I, you're going to have to explain to me. And so we go back to, he had decided to have a fundraiser for the Rumble Against Cancer group. Yep. I'd always said, you know, I always told him, I didn't feel like I had to pay him back the money they gave me. That wasn't what it was about. I just wanted to show them appreci my appreciation sure. of how much they meant to me. And when I couldn't come up with anything, he came up with the idea awesome. to have the fundraiser. Yep. That's awesome. And so that October, we had the fundraiser raised, I believe, 18000 somewhere. Somewhere in there, eighteen for wow. Rumble yeah. Against Cancer. Wow. And we handed them a check. God, no, yeah. that's, an, that's amazing. Yeah. So Just first right out of the bat. That's yep. right. All our friends and family joined us, and it was, it was amazing because we did, you know. We sure didn't know what we were doing when yeah. it came no. to that. We just... <laughs> You know, the Pines was awesome. I asked them if they if we could do it. They said, yes. I called some friends of mine and said, hey, would you come and shoot? They said, yeah, we'll be happy to, you know. And we all knew, they all knew my wife, and so they did. We had 60, 65 shooters, I think, our first event. It was just 
I, we were blown away. It was absolutely amazing. And it ran amazing. And, uh, Everybody, yeah. I mean, Everybody. it was family and friends volunteering, yeah. putting it yep. together, doing everything. And it's fantastic. Yep. I kind of stood back that day in just amazement, you know. And it's obviously grown significantly because the last year is huge. Yes. I don't know how many was there last year. So last year we had 160 shooters and over 75 volunteers. Wow. Yeah. God. So oh. it's it's grown a lot in five years. Uh, it's 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 absolutely amazing. Uh, all the support, and the companies, and friends and family that come and support it. It's it's unbelievable. That's awesome. Yep. It's absolutely amazing what people will step up to whenever you know. Whenever they're called, I mean, it, it, it made my wife we're having the discussion today. I don't know if y'all know this is the lottery is like 500 million. Mm -hmm. right. And we're like, man, that'd be awesome to win that. But right. what do we do with it? Right. Yeah. It's like, let's, I mean, you give most of it away. Like you That's were saying right. earlier, right. you can buy something, but it ain't fun, but for a little bit. Yep. What right. the best thing to do would be to, you know, donate it to some worthy cause. You That's know, right. I, I don't, you don't know what it is right now, yeah. but it that puts meaning in your heart. It gives, sure. makes you feel like you're actually worthy of it. <laughs> Yes. Something, I guess I would say. For sure. But, yeah, um, I, you know, one thing I forgot at the beginning of this was um, where we're coming from these folks, coming to you from today, um, which is Red House Winery, not to distract, but there I want to yes. make sure I call these guys out. Um, Red House Winery here in Nacogdoches, owned by Jacob and Ricky Lee Willoughby. Um, they make fabulous wine out here today. Um, we've also got some of the Envelopes for Hope uh, uh, cap and caps and uh, koozies out here as well. Um, come by and Taste of wine, it's amazing. Uh, we're wine club members here, we have been for several years, and obviously we do support uh, Envelopes for Hope and would like to do more with them in the future. Um, what are we planning for this year? Is it uh, anything different on there? We got any more stations, uh, any <clears throat> new? Uh... We're, we don't have any really new plans other than we might have to do two two tiers of shoot uh, because it is growing so much and that's our hope. Oh, wow. Uh, with, with, with great sponsors, like you, uh, Timber Ridge, and with you and John Albritton, we we just can't thank the companies and people that have come out and supported it. Yeah. Man, that for sure, for sure. And hopefully we can just keep getting more of those sponsorships um, in there. I mean, the Pines is awesome. It's a great That's place right. for sure. Absolutely. Um, it's a first-class facility. I really appreciate you inviting us to shoot with you this year. Oh, yeah, and had a great time a, at the league man. this year. Yeah. yeah. Sorry was I wasn't more help to the, to the <laughs> no, team. No, but. no, no, no. no. <laughs> It was good. Yeah. All good. All good. Yeah. And that's why I wanted you to come because, you know, they want to, we want to do more with Timber Ridge and, and get y'all more out there to do things. Sure. So, and, and a name and a face goes a long ways. It sure does. You know? It sure Absolutely. does. Well, Absolutely. We, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but yeah. I, I do appreciate you coming out here and talking with us for sure and sharing the story because, like everything, we want to get it out there to everybody get more folks out there shooting, maybe do two, two events, you know, absolutely. Um, do other fundraisers throughout the year. Um, on that, I do have a little bit of a surprise for you today. Uh -oh. um, I don't, and we announced it a couple of weeks ago that we were doing a raffle um, for two different guns. Um, and what we decided to do, me and John talked about it today and said, you know what we need to do is just go ahead and donate those proceeds to Envelopes for Hope oh this year. Oh, wow. So we, when we do get those tickets sold, that the proceeds will go to you guys. So I appreciate you yeah, guys so much. No problem. I mean, you know, it is y'all are just amazing. It's like it just never ends. And you <laughs> and what I have to let people know is yes, I started a charity and it was a long process. You know, it wasn't even till the following year after that first fundraiser that the idea came to me, you know, one Christmas morning and I had shared a story with him and, and we kind of went from there and I'm a cancer survivor. Yep. And I'm not just, you know, the president of this charity. And it's been five years. And just you guys just wanting to be part of it. It's so healing for me as a survivor. There's a lot to heal from when you have sure cancer. Enough. It's not just physical, it's emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always going to be emotional because of people like you that just still want to come and help. And, you know, I stand up and give my speech every year and it's a hard day. It's a hard to do that. I just speak from my heart, but to look out every year and watch it grow. Mm -hmm. And I think, why are these people out here? Or why are they <laughs> wanting to support me? It's just unreal for me. So when you, when you do something so kind like that, it's, it just is really touching. And I just really appreciate well, you guys no so we're, very we're, much. We're happy to be a part of it and happy to support it. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but um, there's a lady in our office that is a breast cancer survivor and 
we witnessed her go through it, you know, and just keep a smile on her face. And right. at that time, she'd keep a ball cap on her head. Yep. Um, I don't, she'd probably kill me for saying this, but her name's Sarah Holloway. Her husband's Josh Holloway. Um, been buddies with Josh since we grew up together, essentially. Right. Um, and him and his brother and Caleb Holloway, you know, may have seen a podcast or two on him as well. He's a story's awesome. You need to go watch one that, uh, you just need to go look Caleb Holloway up on, um, on uh, YouTube and watch the, the deal that these guys put on it, put out on him. Uh, Gunner Michelle, I always say it wrong. I, anyway, they, those him and his brothers put on an awesome podcast with Caleb and y'all need to go check that out for sure. Um, but he, everybody's going through something. You yep. never know when they're going right, through right. it. Um, you just, you see somebody in the store and you walk up on somebody and they've got a bad attitude and you don't know what they're going that's through. Right. Right. So it's always, it's always better to ha keep a smile on your face and say, Hey man, what's, you know, right. can I help you out? That's what we're, and that's what we're that's trying what, to do. That's right. And that's what we're meant. That's what we're meant to be doing here on this earth is exactly. helping one another and exactly. any way you can and any little bit you can. And if you can just put a smile on somebody's face that day, you, like you said, you have no idea what that person what might exactly. be going through. And, you know, it could just be small. It it doesn't have to be, you know, driving motorcycles down somebody's <laughs> yeah. driveway. But yep. that was pretty impressive. But it, sure. it's the small things, too. That is, you know, it, that for could sure. change somebody's attitude and, and path. And yep. I never knew I'd be going down this path if it hadn't been for the Rumble Riders, you know, visiting exactly. me. I never exactly. saw this coming. <laughs> nope. Well, well, I and say. I wouldn't change a thing though either. I really want it. That's the thing. Wow. You know, I don't want cancer again. I say <laughs> it all the time. I don't want that again, but no. I feel like it was all a blessing. Like I wouldn't have wanted it any other way to be where I'm sitting today yep. and having to go through all that. I wouldn't change it. Well, so. that's something to say for sure. Well, I guess that's all I've got for today. Um, hopefully tonight, like, we, like you guys know, um, we're here tonight. We're going to be here tonight at the East Texas Sportsman's Club uh, Association uh, Banquet. That's another fundraiser uh, for a, yes. for a very good cause as well. And hopefully we get some of those guys come out uh, shoot with you guys this this fall or us this fall. Um, Bubba, you got Absolutely. any? I don't. We just uh, want to say thanks for giving us this opportunity and appreciate y'all's support. We do. Yes, sir. Thank you very yes, much. Folks, that's all we got. Um, if you like the video, like it, share it, subscribe. Um, we'll be bringing more. Um, hopefully uh, more content like this that actually is meaningful, not just another gun. Um, but we are Timbridge Outfitters, so we're going to be doing a lot of that as well. Um, but we appreciate y'all tuning in.